everyone. My name is Erica, and I'm a research assistant at the Upper Midwest Agricultural Safety and Health Center, also known as UMASH. I'd first like to take this opportunity to thank the collaborators on this project, Devin Charlier and Megan Chasso, and all of the other project leaders who will be recognized at the end of this presentation. Today, I'll be sharing about four projects UMASH has collaborated on to help make aging on the farm easier and safer for farmers in the Upper Midwest. I will also share some opportunities we have to support farmers so they can continue to safely live and work on the farm as they age. Aging is an especially relevant occupational health and safety topic for farmers because about one out of three farmers are older than the age of 65, the highest among any occupation in the United States. You may be wondering, what exactly about aging is a health and safety concern? Well, physical changes that can come with aging, like changes in response time, vision, and hearing, can make living and working on the farm a lot more dangerous. Also, some rural communities have a shortage of medical providers or may not have access to certain specialty healthcare services in their area. Without this needed healthcare, it is even harder for them to continue to maintain their physical health and live independently. In our region, farmers have shared with UMASH that they are concerned about the impact aging will have on both their physical and mental health and how this could impact their ability to live at home. To respond to this concern, we collaborated on four community-based projects that were focused on making aging on the farm easier and safer for farmers. The first project was led by a group of researchers from the University of Minnesota Occupational Therapy Department. They piloted a virtual occupational therapy program for rural Minnesota farmers to help them reduce pain, improve mobility, and continue doing daily activities. In the second project, individuals from the University of Wisconsin Occupational Therapy Department partnered with the Minnesota American or American Parkinson's Disease Association Wisconsin chapter to lead a project called Active at Home. This project gave exercise and adaptive equipment to a group of rural Wisconsinites living with the disease to make both exercising and daily tasks easier. The third project was led by four faith-based organizations in a rural Minnesota county. They worked together to learn from farmers in their own community about the concerns they had with aging on the farm and how the community could best support them. Finally, the fourth project was led by the organization Big Stone Area Memory Loss Connection, and their main goal was to improve the quality of dementia care. One part of the project was um, for them hosting community trainings for nurses and physicians to help them recognize the signs and symptoms of dementia more easily so patients could be referred to treatment options faster. If you're interested in learning more about the outcomes of these community projects, you can visit the UMASH website at z.umn.edu slash aging on the farm. You can also scan the QR code on the slide, which will take you to that same webpage. At this point, you may be wondering, how exactly can we support aging farmers? Well, these community-based projects have given UMASH some really great ideas about how we can help farmers continue to age safely on the farm. The first opportunity we're seeing is to increase awareness of existing community services that can help farmers continue working and aging on the farm. One of the projects found that the majority of farmers in their community were not aware of some of the specialty healthcare services available to them, like occupational therapy, that could help them keep their strength and mobility up so they could keep living at home. Telehealth programming can be a really innovative way that specialty healthcare, which is sometimes only found in larger communities, can also be accessed and available remotely by rural farmers. The second opportunity we see is to provide support for caregivers of aging farmers. In these projects, farmers shared that they have relied heavily on their social networks to provide them caregiving support as they age. Supporting caregivers could help to ensure that they have the capacity to continue to care for their loved ones on the farm. The third opportunity we're seeing is to share ideas to farmers about how they can modify the farmstead to prepare for changes in mobility that may come with aging. These modifications may include things like installing ramps and handrails just to make it sure that it's safe and easy for people to continue living on the farm. Finally, one of the projects found that one out of four older farmers in their community did not have access to reliable internet. To make sure that UMASH's health and safety content can reach all older farmers, 
it's really important that UMass continues to use both print materials and in-person outreach at farm events to, to share health and safety content in person. This will help ensure that older farmers without internet access can still use UMass as a health and safety information hub. We'd like to thank you all for the, thank all of you for listening and for the project leaders who have collaborated with us on these projects who are recognized on this slide. Aging on the farm is becoming an increasingly relevant health and safety topic for farmers. And UMESH plans to use the ideas from these community projects that we shared to ensure that farmers are safe, healthy, and supported throughout their lifespan.